all right guys how you all doing i'm fiester here and today we have something interesting some pretty good amount of news so firstly we have rtx 4070 getting pictured here and uh, moore's law is that video here and if you look into it it's a uh, yeah it's basically the same design they're going with the 4090 yeah and well this is the front and it seems like this is gonna be the back as we all saw and this is the, yeah basically the 4090 like uh cooling design so they're sticking with this kind of design rather than what 3070 had where it's two fan slot right now they're gonna have the you know two fans but in the opposite ends you know for the better turbulence i guess so it seems like it needs better cooling because you know i think this this kind of cooler provides better cooling and yeah i mean they're going for that so nothing surprising here and this is the whole picture of the r 4070 so basically the same thing maybe a little bit slimmer obviously still looks like it's a two slot card which is fine i guess but yeah it looks nice next up we have nvidia rtx 3060 ti as we talked about before coming with gdr6 x memory is now and at minimum seven percent faster compared to the ggd or 6x variant and if you look into the performance here in fire strike uh we're getting around thirty-one thousand five hundred ish performance which is compared to 3060 tig6 memory is yeah or uh, around seven percent increase as it says and here like right here 85 percent 79 so right here we're getting like six percent if you compare these two numbers if you compare uh times five uh numbers here 1200 500 ish 12500 ish uh compared to the 11769 so again like four uh five yeah basically five percent uh i don't know where the seven person comes in but i guess it will come in because it's a rough calculation you know so yeah it's gonna have a little bit a little bit of boost but my question is you can just overclock 3060 ti g6 memory and then get that uh not the memory the if you overclock 3060 ti g6 variant you can just get that performance no i could be wrong but yeah i mean i guess they're moving to the g6 uh, x memories for you know better compatibility now because it's available i, I believe yeah it seems like that and next up we have intel claiming their i9 3900k compared to ryzen 9 7950x will be around 11 percent faster uh an average and if you look into the some numbers here right here arcadegadon i completely butchered that name i believe it's minus one percent okay fine with that total war is getting six percent PUBG is getting eight percent uh grid legends getting ten percent quite a good amount of lead total war sage troy is getting ten percent far car six getting eleven percent probably because uh, this game is a better single thread performance here as you can see so i believe it's getting a better performance and well we'll look into some benchmarks and uh, not benchmarks they're all claiming here uh hitman 3 is getting 11 percent lead guardians of the galaxy getting 12 percent uh, league of legends 13 marvel's spider-man remastered getting 13 percent i believe they're using ddr5 memory i don't know i could be wrong they don't mention it here yeah Concours Blade getting 18% and the Rift Breaker is getting 22% which is a very substantial lead. Again probably the highest lead but yeah. And this is the content creation performance like there as you can see in Photoshop uh, Pro, 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 Photoshop overall yeah they getting on par. Uh, Rugal Bench Premiere Pro overall getting on par. Yeah basically there's nothing interesting except autodesk revit i guess getting 16 percent which is quite interesting yeah they're claiming 11 percent increase in performance though we uh, will be looking into the reviews and i believe the reviewers are already in yeah possibly next up we have something interesting i9 3900k f getting an overclock of 6.2 gigahertz and also getting a score in cinebunch r23 of 20352 this is the hw bot uh, forum here and if you look into the overclocker.net we get this info uh, from this user cody1337 from italy i guess because it's the registered italy and is getting the score of 2327 reaching 6.2 gigahertz uh, which is pretty impressive that's a good overclocking 
and uh, probably not uh probably not using ln2 of course not uh, they're just probably using the uh normal cooling or water cooling i believe still this this uh chip is very hot that's for sure it has to be very very chill uh not chill hot so it's getting yeah it's getting 23,027 points which is impressive very impressive not gonna lie next up we have momomo underscore us bringing in this information and it it says that isn't it that oh i don't know what that terminology comes from maybe sonic the hedgehog i could be wrong but yeah it seems like it so azrog bringing in sonic the hedgehog themed motherboard here and if you look into the motherboard well there it is yeah my personal opinion i don't like it but if you're a fan of it you can get that not a big deal yeah not a big deal but i'm not a big fan of it because it looks very cartoonish but it's all good right i mean if you like cartoonish stuff it's all for you sure so yeah there we go there are some aesthetics sonic the hedgehog aesthetics coming from azrock which is great i mean love that even though i don't like it <laughs> and lastly we have very interesting thing 900 watts geforce rtx fe cooler this is very weird because probably this is coming with 4090 ti or titan though the titan got cancelled so i believe it's going to be coming with 4090 ti but it says 900 watts so what does that refer to i don't get it because remember 4090 sucks in around 600 watts or even less maybe it's 550 to 600 so what what's going on here 900 watts like 4090 i don't know it will it will use 900 watts but there's some things something is going on because this is chonkers just look at the size of that what is that i mean i really want to know is is that a legit titan cooler or is it 4090 but again the 4090 ti should not have 900 watts tdp it should not or yeah, yeah basically yeah tdp of 900 watts it should not have that amount of power because like i mean if if it can deliver um, uh, like you know 30 percent more performance then i guess it's, it's worth it but 900 watts for 4090 ti i don't think that is the case so that what's going on i have no idea it has to be a titan or this thing got cancelled because titan has been cancelled that is the conclusion that i'm going in but you tell me what's happening here all right that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed and what do you think about the 4090 or not the 4090 the fe cooler 900 watts do you think that is uh coming with the 4090 ti because what i think 4090 ti is not gonna be 900 watts right so it has to be the titan series but titan series got cancelled so i think it's not coming so what do you think you tell me and have a good day and of course like share and subscribe and yeah have a nice day repeating again